Mary. Activate your HUD feeds for tactical briefing. We have a positive ID on Sam Fisher in Valletta, Malta. On Thursday, March 18th, Sam Fisher returns to Xbox 360 in the Xbox Live exclusive demo for Splinter Cell Conviction. We spoke with Splinter Cell Conviction producer Alex Perizzo about what the players can expect from the demo as well as what challenges the team faces when putting the demo together. The challenge for a demo is you want to keep it uh, as short as possible so that people can get a good sample of your game in a short amount of time. Uh, but uh, you also want them to uh, understand or try almost everything you've got to offer. So it's always difficult to, um, to put together. So the first part that's always difficult is the storyline. So what are you going to reveal? How is it going to open up? And what are uh, players going to understand from the motivations of the main character? Uh, so that's why we decided to start it in uh, the uh, bathroom, the interrogation scene. And then we're sort of transporting you to a later level after that to show you the other uh, layer of the storyline without spoiling too much stuff. All Fisher cares about is what happened to his daughter. So Coben talked about everything. Fisher's on his way here and he's not happy. Uh, the biggest thing that you're gonna see when you're playing the demo is the change, the, the change of, of pace. Stealth action, dynamic, fast pace, uh, very different from what you've experienced before. In the demo, for instance, uh, if you go up on the side and you oversee the, uh, the enemies in the, uh, in the warehouse area, uh, what's really cool is uh, to grab onto the pipe and then you can mark that uh, trap to fall down on two guys. You can mark two additional guys that are in the back and then wait for that guy to come under the pipe, drop down on them, then hit the execute button, take down the trap and take out those two guys and clear the room in one like swift motion. It looks really good. Splinter Cell practically invented the light and shadow stealth genre, and while Sam is now more proactive than reactive, playing with light to create an advantage is still very much a part of the game. We've empowered the player with a lot of gadgets that actually play with the light and shadow gameplay, so you're actually going to control a lot of EMP, electromagnetic pulse gadgets and uh, tools that will allow you to sort of tip the balance in your favor. So you can actually use EMP grenades and say, okay, I want to vanish over there or I want to grab that pipe uh, without being seen, so I'm going to throw a, an EMP grenade, a blast, um, all the lights in that area, run to that pipe, go onto the, uh, onto the ceiling, and then the enemy's going to be like, where, where did he disappear? So. It feels really good. Early footage of the game showcased Sam without his trademark goggles, but we can assure you they are back and more powerful than before. The, the, the goggles will allow you to see your environment better, yes, uh, but they'll also allow you to see enemies, be able to observe a situation and figure out the best tactics before engaging. So they're not a tool that you're going to use in the middle of combat. They're, they're a tool that you're going to use in the preparation phase of the gameplay loop. So you can actually see through walls where the enemies are, mark enemies through walls using the goggles to set up your uh, attack, and then boom, pounce, and uh, get out of the shadows and take down the targets. The uh, Splinter Cell demo will be available on Xbox Live on March 18, and uh, I'm hoping that you guys will check it out and experience the uh, new fast-paced dynamic stealth gameplay and uh, and uh, enjoy enjoy the new the new Splinter Cell.